here's a close-up of the head. Um, when I was trying to mount things to this, I came across this little piece of plastic here that just comes off, and it basically covers up this little hole where they stick a screw to hold it all together. But the diameter of this hole is about the same size as some standard plumbing fittings, which I'll show you how I hooked that up in a second. This camera doesn't have those threads, so I ended up using some contact cement that I just got at the local hardware store and glued another one of the filter rings to the front of it because it would actually you know, fit smooth and flush. And then I took another one that I needed with the 30 millimeter threads that mount to the night vision and glued it inside of it so that you now have the finished assembly glued to the front. If you go online and look for filter adapter rings, either step up or step down ring adapters, a lot of times you'll see these weird ball looking things. This is just basically a bunch of different sizes all screwed together. Just make sure that the one that you need is in there because these are only about the price of two rings if you bought them separately. Here's a better view of the night vision. It's from, I got it from Night Vision Depot, it's a PVS 14. Takes a one single AA battery, which if you use an alkaline and you're in a cold weather area like here in Michigan, and it gets down around zero, the night, the night vision will shut off because the battery doesn't have enough power anymore. These lithium batteries are good to, I think, 20 or 40 below or something, so they go all night. When trying to mount things to this, they do have a official camera adapter mounting ring that costs, I think, around 60 80 bucks or something. And you take off the eye cup and it mounts to this retainer ring. But at least the guys that I got it from didn't glue this on, so it just unscrews. And then you're, you have access straight to the 30 millimeter threads in here, and then you can mount your. You ain't find it through Mount your 30 millimeter to whatever size you need, step up or step down ring adapter, directly to the back. And then your camera will screw right into that. Sorry, it probably would have been better to show you the actual camera. Here's the camera with the 30 millimeter male threads on it, and then the night vision has a 30 millimeter female threads. So they just screw together. And now no light gets through and the focus remains constant. Oop, looks like we're going blurry. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There. Now that's the whole, the main part of the setup there. I don't know if any tripods come with heads that'll go all the way vertical. This one didn't. It only goes about oh, 75, 80 degrees or so. So I had to come up with this, this here, to cover the extended range. This puts another 30, 40 degrees or so, which takes it now 10 or 20 degrees past vertical. It's just a piece of, looks like I cut a 2 by 4 and a half, so it's a 2 by 2 that I again cut in half and then screwed a little piece in between to hold the angle. Here is a, just a little hinge I had laying around so that it can pivot. And then for mounting it to the base, I'm going to have to get these out there. I drilled a little hole in the wood, and then you can thread in some wood threads on the outside and then a machine thread on the inside. I think I have one here somewhere. Now this isn't the exact one, but it's the same thing. Let's see if I can get in and see it at all. It's got coarse wood threads that go into a... Come back. They go into the wood, and on the inside, you have the machine threads, and just stick that down in the wood, and then your tripod mount has got a quarter twenty threads on it. We'll just screw right into that. I'll show you in a second. All right, so here's the shoe that came with the tripod, and its threads are a quarter twenty two on a little thumb screw down here. It's not really a thumb; it's kind of hard to use your thumb with, but. It just then screws. See if you can see that. 
right into there. And now while uh, we have a extended angle tripod mount. So now the whole thing just slides into the tripod locket and there you go. One thing you want to do before you end up gluing this thing all up is to take the night vision make sure your adapter is on there tight and then when you go to glue it you can make sure that the mounting holes are pointing the same direction. The first time I did it, it ended up being somewhere like that, so to get them mounted up at the same time, it was really a loose fit, so make sure you have wet glue when you line these up. Once you get them glued together, you see that the mounting holes are nowhere near being on the same plane. So you can't just mount them to a flat piece of wood. But to account for that, on these two angle brackets, if you don't put the second screw in, then they can pivot back and forth, really making any offset that you need. And then once you, you can screw these in, and then set your second screw. For mounting screws I got these half inch thumb screws from the hardware store. On their own they're a little bit too deep for the standard tripod mount hole things have. Goes in about that far and then bottoms out. So what I ended up doing was instead of hacking it off and trying to clean up the threads I just put a, a nut on there and then that is about the right depth after you stick it in the bracket. And another thing is um, with this, in case you're wondering what this thread's for, if you try to keep track of these things, you lose them about every every time you go to use them. So I drilled a hole through it and then took a fishing swivel to attach it to the string so that it doesn't get all wrapped around when you try to screw it on. That's something you might want to consider. So now I'll tell you a little bit about this piece here that holds the monitor away from the setup so now when you're out there looking around at the stars trying to track anything you can still look at your monitor and see what's going on. Get this out of here. This particular piece here came with the Viltrox monitor. See if you can see it. It's got a little threads here to go into the monitor. And then back here there's a tripod mount screw that just came with it and goes into the bottom. Out of that hole in the top of the tripod I found a piece of brass. It was just a leftover plumbing part. It wasn't exactly the right size, so I put some duct tape, or not duct tape, uh, electrical tape around it. And then took a standard, regular angle bracket, threw it in the vise, bend it all up. So I put a bend on it here and a couple extra bends it didn't have so that it fits around the contour of the opening on the tripod. Stuck another little bar, uh, bracket on the outside, and then that's basically it. I did put some electrical tape on the this part right here to keep it from scratching up the back of the tripod here. Now that it's starting to warm up, I know there's going to be times when I'm going to want to pull a chair up to it and sit out there with it for a couple of hours. So for the monitor, I made this piece here which holds it to the base, and I'll tear that down in a second here and show you what that's made of. Alright, so here that is. Here's the piece that comes off the monitor. It came with it. I stuck another one of those 
quarter 20 thread screws in there to make a pseudo tripod mount. This was just a regular piece of wood I had laying around. Drilled a hole in it, then cut it on the table saw, squared it up to size, drilled some holes in here for the screws to hold it all together. This means I'm going to have to carry around a screwdriver, so I should redo it somehow with some, some of those thumb screws or something that I don't have to carry around a bunch of tools with me, but that's that. One thing that's good to have if you're in a cold weather area like we are here in Michigan recording at night, when you go to bring the stuff in it gets all fogged up, and I'm not sure if that's really bad for it or not, but I don't want to take the chance and have like the focus go bad or anything, so I, before I bring it in, I throw them inside the Ziploc bag, zip it up, and then bring it in, and then it's got the dry air from the outside that it brings in and doesn't get any of the fog condensation when it starts to warm up. Alright, now for a quick run through of the setup. First thing is to stick on the angle extender, and then the monitor mount. Strap this right in, tighten that up so it doesn't move around too much. Put the camcorder and the night vision together. Screw those on. I screw on the night vision first because it costs a bunch more. Make sure you don't hear the whine of your night vision when you take the cover off so you don't fry the tube. Stick the Stick the lens hood on. All of your screws right in. Open it up, open up the camcorder. It's got a HDMI mount inside here so I can plug it directly in. Get the power and Release the lock and now we're ready to record.